Hey, this is RJ May, and you're watching Mr. Mario 2011. Hey, what is going on everyone? It is me, Mr. Mario, and today it seems like I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial that's been done to death. However, I'm wanting to bring this not only because it is a full tutorial, but because I'm going to be showing you a slightly different way to dump the NAND, which is actually pretty cool, but nobody really knows about it and not too many people see it, even though it's literally right under their nose, but I'll be showing you all this. Anyways, I'm going to show you all how to not only dump your NAND through Zell on your hard modded Xbox, but also how to flash it through Zell, which most people know the second part but not too many people know about the first part anyways the only thing with this is of course you will need a hard modded system but you are also going to need your computer and your xbox on the same network once you have those two ready you should be good to go for the rest of this tutorial and we can go ahead and begin now first off with your hard modded system on your network go ahead and boot into zell or zell reloaded all you need to do is just turn on your system by pressing the eject button and wait for it to boot up now once Zell completely loads up, what you want to do is pay attention to the bottom of the screen where it says network config and there's going to be a string of numbers followed by a slash and another string of numbers. That first address or the string of numbers is the IP address of your Xbox that is hosting Zell. What you want to do now is go ahead and go over to your computer with your Xbox still on and access that using your web browser. Alright, now this is going to be following a tutorial that I had before, and I know you can do this using other services such as JRunner, however, I've noticed I've had the least amount of issues when it comes to XE Build, so I'm going to have the latest version of XE Build, the link to it, available down below. Now, XE Build always gets updated with new patches and everything, and the current dashboard right here is 16756, so that's what we're going to be updating to. Now, once you get XE Build, you want to go ahead and take that IP address that you found in Zell, and go ahead, come over here, just put it in your browser. Browser. I've already put it here and this is going to show your CPU key your DVD key and all these files you could download I recommend downloading all three and these are coming from your system. So don't don't turn it off just yet Now once you have it all updated what you want to do is go ahead open up your copy of XE build go ahead and find where everything is So I'm gonna come over here get my flash dump now you can take your CPU key that you got from Zell, drop it into here, and everything should pop up as normal. So now, if everything is green down below, you can generate your hacked image. Now before we do this, make sure you have your path set properly, make sure that the bin name is updflash.bin, and have your kernel version be the latest one available, just like right there. So you don't really want to mess with any of the other settings unless you really know what you're doing, but once you have all this set up, you can go ahead and generate your hacked image. Now once this pops up, we really don't need it anymore, so you could go ahead and hit yes to close everything out. And what you want to do here is go over to where you have your image, and as you can see, you now have an update flash.bin file. So now what you want to do, you want to go ahead, copy this, and we are going to be putting it on a flash drive. Now make sure your flash drive is going to be formatted to FAT32, which I'm going to do right here to my own, just in case. So I have FAT32 default. Now let it be known, if you are formatting, this will erase all your data, so be sure you back up anything. We're going to go ahead and start the format. Once that is done, hit OK, hit close, come over to your flash drive, and just paste it into your root right there. And now once that's all set up, we can go ahead, right click, hit eject, and take it over to our Xbox. Now what you want to do when you go back to your Xbox is pop in the flash drive and reboot the system. So if it is on, just go ahead reboot it. If it's off, go ahead turn it on by pressing the eject button so you boot back into Zell. Now this time once Zell pops up, if you have the update file on your flash drive as instructed before, raw flash v5 will pop up at the bottom of your screen and ask you if you're sure you want to continue. If you know that everything is correct, go ahead and continue by not touching your Xbox and let your Xbox flash the NAND over. Once it is done, it's going to ask you to shut down. Just go ahead, shut it down by pressing the power button, and then boot it back up normally. Now, once your system is updated, you might notice that your avatar is just a gray figure. Well, if you're worried about that, don't worry too much longer because I'm going to show you how to fix that up as well too. Alright, now your reset glitch or your JTAG or whatever type of system you have might be working properly. However, you're going to notice that you don't have any of your avatar items. Well, that's going to be really easy to fix. First off, you want to go ahead, come over to xbox.com slash update, and you want to go down here. You want to make sure you're running the latest dashboard right now, and go ahead, get copy to a USB flash drive, and right here, download the update file, which will give you the latest update file. Okay, now once you have the file like you do right here, just go ahead, right click, I'm going to extract everything over here, and you're going to get this one folder called cache system update. What you want to do is just copy 
and paste that over to your flash drive. We'll just use the same flash drive that we used before. Now that that's completely copied over, this is going to be the important part. What you want to do is just click this and you want to rename the folder. All you're going to do is replace the S right here with another cache sign. So you need two cache signs, one that's already there and another one that replaces the S. Once you have it set up just like that, go ahead, eject your flash drive and let's take it back to our Xbox. Now what I normally do is I just boot back to the normal dashboard, pop in the flash drive, and if you get a message saying an update's required, go ahead, hit yes. If you still don't get that message, try going ahead and doing it while your system is booting up and popping the flash drive in, just like we did with our update file. After that, you should be sorted. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you for watching, everyone, and I hope I helped you all out.